Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Geist. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, I went ghost. It's kind of trippy. Hi. Whoa. Okay. Yep, float in that direction. That makes things easy. Here, follow me through this. You can squeeze through small openings when you see this energy. Uh, cool. Don't know why I just can't go, you know, through the wall itself, but I guess no clipping in this would be a little bit game breaking. What do we have here? Oh, plant. Uh, where'd you go, Gigi? Oh, oh, creepy. Hello, Remy. Do you want to see what you look like? It's gonna be freaky! Kind of reminds me of that scene from Watchmen where Dr. Manhattan tries to bring himself back together in the science lab. What's wrong? It's okay, you're a ghost like me. You can do neat things like possess objects. If you look closely at some objects, you will see that some can be possessed. You will know if an object can be possessed by the red energy around it. You'll need to possess things because if you don't, you'll start to get sick. If you possess something, you'll feel better after a few seconds. <laughs> Uh, sorry. I like that poster. I kind of want to get that poster as a, uh, freaking poster. So let's, let's look at things. Dynamo. Dynamo, rather. Looks like turning the crank will power the light. Alright, let's try that. Now it says press A to activate, but what it doesn't tell you is that you have to rapidly press A to activate. So, I was stuck on this point for like two or three minutes or so, trying to get out of this area when I had first begun playing this game again. It was kind of sad. Well, that's cool. What else, Gigi? Got anything else for me? Very good, Remy. Try another one. Um, sure. I'll be a mop bucket. Behold in terror at the mop bucket. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'd rather be a dynamo. Can I be a dynamo? Oh, wait. That's uh, over. Oh, hey. That's right. A little shooting, shooting gallery. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, you go to a shooting gallery or whatnot, and this is what you see? Like, one just comes to life and just shoots all the things. Not sure if the... Uh, hitting all of those legitimately or not, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. I'm a master marksman with this kind of shit. <laughs> Sarcasm. Anyways, uh, GG, where'd you go? Ah, there you are. Hi. I know you could do it, Remy. Now try that large container by the wall. It does something very special. Now these are actually explosives. Uh, storing ammunition is explosive, dangerous, and potentially useful. If shot or disturbed, a destroyed container will respawn in time. Which is kind of a weird concept when you think about it. But hey. Uh, Alright then. Remy uses self-destruct. It's super effective. Follow me, Remy. I want to show you something inside. Also, I can float. The longer I hold L, the longer I'll float, but I will eventually come down. Just kind of balls. Don't know why she knew exactly to blow up, blow up that wall. Maybe the wall regenerates in time as well. Sleepy guy. Do you know you can possess humans too? But it's tricky. You'll need to scare them first. Let's try it with that person. I'll take the trash bin, you take that phone, okay? Phone time. Gonna make some long distance calls and bill it directly to the Volks. Volks. His name is a Volks. Alright, so now we can ring menacingly. Huh? Booga! 
Ah, poor janitor. Alright, let's get out of this thing. See, it's easy. I'm too little to control someone as big as this guy, though. So you'll have to do it. My life energy is too small. Take this janitor and head toward the PC room. Poor guy. Dude's just doing his night shift job, and he's all like, Oh no, I'm suddenly possessed. Answer the damn phone. Is someone there? Listen, I'm all by myself down here, and no one will give me a straight answer. They just told me to activate my barrier, and if anyone comes up acting suspiciously, to shoot them on sight. What's going on? Hello? Hello? Sucks to be used, sir. Oh well. Personnel are to report to their section commanders for immediate possession screening. Repeat, all personnel report to your section commanders for immediate possession screening. The next spirit separation remains on schedule. Alright, let's see if I remember any of how to do this. Sup, sir? Can I help you with something? Uh, so this loose goose has me spooked. This place is falling apart by at the seam, so it doesn't surprise me to got loose. Better get back to work before the senior scientists get on my case. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Dude just kind of doing his own thing. So while as your health degenerates as a ghost, it doesn't as a human. You know, when you're possessing stuff. Me. Can't you see we have a situation here? Go make yourself useful somewhere else. Sorry, I thought you should tidy up your goddamn mess of papers. Look at all these papers. Can't organize shit, stupid scientist. Look, I'm having enough trouble concentrating with this alarm going off. Please don't bother me. Or maybe you should be going in and observing stuff. Ah, unauthorized access. Dang it. I can't look at it. Can I help you? Hmm. Please don't tamper with the equipment. You aren't clear to use it. Sorry, a dude looked like, um... Don Knotts. That's who it is. Don Knotts. At least I think that's who it is. Crap, I'm terrible with names. Uh, do I go through this or... Yes, I do. I think the other one is locked. That's why. Man, that is an annoying alarm, isn't it? That door's locked. That door is not. Hi, sir. Uh, sup? Hold it. What are you doing in here? Sorry, man. A little jumpy. I really shouldn't be in here, but to be honest, I don't mind the company. This room gives me the creeps. Just don't touch anything, okay? Oh, I won't touch anything. But I will. So let's see. I suppose. Let's see. Bring a for virtual simulation. Ah! I can destroy this. Ba boom! Not entirely 100. Oh, okay, that's right. And then I got to depossess. Jump over this thing. It, the whole time moving slower while it's the ghost part is really awesome, if you ask me. Oh no. Something exploded over here. It would be a shame if the trash can suddenly combusted. See, now I should be a freaking ghost janitor. Because look at that. All that trash was just burnt right the hell up. Don't have to worry about landfills or anything. Don't be so sure. I think things will be very different with this one. The other prisoners being prepped for separation. Busy night for you, huh? So, okay. Sometimes when you possess a new host, you'll see glimpses from their recent memories. Cool. So, they said that just an earshot of the dude who had literally just, like, leader dude. Gonna be a busy now for you, huh? Alright. 
Ah, that's right. I got a gun. Well, I could depossess you. Oh, that's right. Yours is... Wait. Oh, that was... That's funky. Sorry, it also auto-aims when you're just randomly walking, not even when you're... Eh, whatever. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a bunch of stuff down here to read. I don't mind reading. You guys don't mind listening? I don't mind reading. Let's start with this one. Okay, never mind. Uh, you, sir. Is it clear in there? Here, I'll unlock the computer so you can generate the bypass code and get out. Everyone else left for the possession checkpoint. Bloop, 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 bloop. Can I help you with something? Okay, the computers are unlocked. You're headed to the checkpoint. You might want to watch where you point your gun. Everyone's pretty jumpy about this loose ghost. I suppose they have a right to be. Loose ghosts, random possessions, all that fun stuff. Ramey, John, separation successful. Bryson, Thomas, separation scheduled for 0900 hours today. Those bastards. I like Bryson. Who's Bryson? I remember who Bryson is. Separation chamber status, all systems ready for spec op test. Security and science wing has been tightened due to the incident. Transit to science wing is restricted to authorized personnel. Hmm, sucky. That's quite a ways away. Good thing we have a gun. Door lock generating bypass code. 9235. Huh. Same combination of my luggage. Wouldn't it be funny though if it was 12345? My god, I'd find that hilarious. Would love it. 9235. Yeah, it doesn't change. I probably could have actually. Nine, two, three, five. Huzzah! I wonder what would have happened if I got it wrong. Lower your weapon. Dude, chill. Sir. So a ghost actually escaped. Guess something like this was bound to happen eventually. Lower your weapon. You lower your weapon. Is it simply based on whether or not... Like, I can't actually lower my weapon. Are you... Crapping me. Dude. You need to have chilled. You wouldn't be so dead otherwise. Like, I just, like when I was previously playing, I just walked right past him. So, I don't know what the hell that's, that freaking did. Hi, Remy. If you see any dogs like these, be careful. They can sense when you're around, even if you're inside a person. Ooh. That's a slipstream, though. Don't know why I'm still calling them slipstreams. They're they're just called slips. As far as I recollect. What is this? It's a collectible! A ghost collectible. Ghost teddy pairs increase my spiritual energy so I can... Uh... Not... Possess people for longer periods of time. All right. That's it. Gonna repossess this guy. Ah, uh, re, 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 repossessed. Hmm. Now, as far as I know, I don't think you can actually shoot the dogs, which is a little bit infuriating. Sir. I know. I would know if I were possessed, right? Sure. I mean, honestly, after I've possessed these guys, they just kind of seem to wobble around in place until I decide to come back and use them for meat suits. Stop here, soldier. Move along. Now, as far as I know, you got two options in this particular place. You can just kind of... Sir. These are pretty tense right now, so be careful where you point. Yes, thank you. I know. Be careful where I point my weapon, which I'm already pointing at people. Anyways, so I can. Sir. 
Catch that game last night? Uh, yes. Sports are a fantastic thing. I would be so screwed in this situation. Alright. Oh no, the doggy. He's gonna bark at me. Hmm. I wonder if I can possess the doggy. No, can't possess doggy. Can I possess... Oh. I thought I could possess the medkit. There's no explosion crates or anything. I thought that there was a second way to do this. Either that or they're going to be all like, Oh! He's a ghost. Actually, can I just go through? Nope. This barrier prevents me from going through. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Sir. Did you hear what happened to Phantom? Phantom. Lower your weapon. The dog? Sir. Seen anything? Lower no. Your weapon. I can't lower my weapon. Nope. Screw you. Bugger off. Go to hell. Excuse me, sir. <sighs> Just wanted to have a nice, peaceful way out of here. Oh, and then that's a doggy. Doggies don't seem to actually attack you, which is kind of weird if you ask me. Yep. Now I wonder whether or not they actually attack you while you're still possessed. Or rather, when you've stopped possessing people, because... I don't know, it, it's, it's funky. It's really funky. Also, every character that you possess has infinite ammo. I feel like I said that last episode. Fairly certain I did. So, they're not following me. I guess they're not following me. Okay. I could have stayed behind and just, you know, shot the ever-loving crap out of everyone in that chamber. But, meh. I probably could have honestly gotten through that goose point in some other fashion, but I really don't know how. Kind of like a pacifist run, as it were. Less murdering. Get out. I don't want to give this scum any more bodies to possess. Contact Roar can tell him the situation's under control. But it's not under control, is it, sir? Also, just me? Or does dude look like, um... Uh, Sabretooth from Wolverine Origins? Is that it? Wolverine Origins? Now again, infinite ammo, so I don't gotta worry about that. But I do have a limited life, which kinda sucks. Well, the human I am uh, inhabiting has limited lives. Sir, why don't you just kindly... Okay, that did not work. Whoop. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to chill out so I can shoot you. Okay. This is not annoying in the slightest. I don't know what you're talking about. Alrighty. Way to blow up the dude's monument thing. Actually, I wonder. I probably can't do what I'm thinking. Oh wait, can I do it? Well, it's it's no, I can't. Okay, dude's gonna move. Dude's gonna move. Oh, okay, now it's doing it. Jesus. Here I was thinking that it was just some you know event that you gotta do, but no. You can possess these and blow the hell up right next to this cord guy. Can I possess the statue? Sarau statue, marble statue. Ooh. Uh. No real point to this? Okay. And yes, yep, okay, he does keep on shooting your dude. Right. Oh wait, um, no. You start without saving? No. 
Save our progress. Yes. Okay. Right back. I want to... Nah. Okay, it's just from here. That's cool. Ha! Okay. Um, make up your mind much, game? Although I guess I can do something with that statue after all this is said and done. Well, looks like I'm a right badass in remembering that, uh, it's actually a thing. Oh, okay, it's just that I wasn't hitting him while it's... Okay, I wasn't hitting him at anything besides the shield was the problem. Uh, cord? Buddy? Pal? Amigo? Chum? As some people might say. Okay. I don't know why he crouches like that. I don't think it'll help against Mr. Grenade. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can roll as a grenade. <laughs> uh, don't ask me how that makes sense. Yeah, stupid easy fight, but at the same time I can see why I had troubles with it that time. I did not know that the statue could move. So is there something I can actually do with this? I know I can look at this. It's a plaque. Start the construction. Dated back to 1927. 90 years ago. This game's telling the future. Wait. Unless there's a thing in here. Or unless this thing is simply meant to make it so as I can gain back health as a ghost. No real reason to this? I can just possess a giant statue? Is that it? I can possess the statue. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. I did not figure that out last time. I didn't even know you possessed the statue. Which just goes to show. Multiple. Oh. One of these. Host collectibles. You collect certain amounts of these and you can unlock new characters during multiplayer mode. Honestly, I have no clue what multiplayer mode even involves. So, yeah. So is there one that I missed? Because I'm fairly certain I'm at the end of this particular part. Mm, okay. Okay, okay, yep. Getting caught on the thing. Shooting guys in the crotch. Should stop that, sirs. My combat style of run around in circles while it's shooting people seems to work out just fine. For the most part. Does this look pot based? Yes, that looks pot based. Uh, let me try the other way really quickly. And then I'm gonna jump on that elevator. Yep, okay, that door is locked. Of course. Not an elevator, it's a tram. Alright. I'm gonna... No, that is an elevator. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna activate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate it. There we go. Still don't know why I'm doing this as a ghost. I can find it as easily float upward or downward in this case. Hmm. That's just silly. Also, the action music's begun again. Which means that there's people to shoot. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Way up high. Or down this corridor. Same difference, really. Just mowing people down. I probably should have grabbed that health box. Health box? Hi, Gigi. Baby, you made it. I knew you would. The other two old men said you were different than the others. They always watch the people who come back from the hole. They put people in the... Who will... Bleh. They put people in who come back like you, only not everyone so lucky. Some come back strange. They've taken your friend Bryson there now. The hole is a bad place. He needs to stop them. My brother, he took me there a long time ago. I don't like that place or anything. There are bad things there. 
I want you if I can, but I can't go with you. I'm sorry. Is cool. Okay, this is the tram. The other one was the elevator. Let me guess. Yep. Scores of people. Scores of you. None can taste my wrath and succeed in living. I don't know what the hell that sentence was. I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode right here. And when we return, guess we're going down to that whole place and, you know, saving Bryson. Because he's a cool guy. We like him. Easier name to say than Julio. Julio. I think. I don't know. I'm bad with names. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.